Hey, what's good YouTube? Today I'll talk to you about why I moved from Windows to Mac OS as a mix engineer. This applies to music producers as well. I'll explain to you all of my reasons and if it's something you should consider as well. This is not even a pros and cons video, although there are cons to it, but I'll just tell you all of my reasons why I moved and maybe some of the challenges that I faced. Let's get to it. First of all, I found Mac OS more user friendly. There's fewer things to click. There's things just in front of you if you've got an iphone you understand what i'm saying comparing your iphone to your android me don't get me wrong i'm an android lover myself i've got a samsung and an iphone but we can all agree that iphones are a lot easier to operate um, compared to their android counterparts same goes for mac os if you're using a macbook things are just easy it's close open rename it's easier than windows windows has got loads of options by default that you would have to get third party options on Mac. So if you're prioritizing speed and ease of access, Mac OS is better for you. Another reason why I decided to move to Mac OS as a mix engineer was regional compatibility. So what I mean by that is depending on where you live, the musicians all around you would tend to use a similar software, a similar DAW. When I was back home in Nigeria, Akwaibun State, my, my, where I'm from down south, most people use Cubase and I was a Windows user at the time. So Cubase it runs really easily on Windows and all of us used Windows, used Cubase and that was it. Then I moved to Lagos State and more people were using Logic Pro. They had MacBook Pros and obviously you know Logic Pro doesn't work on Windows so I had to buy a Mac so I could read projects from other people easily and not have to get stems all the time. So compatibility, depending on where you live, you might need to have a certain operating system so you can collaborate with more people in your environment. And also as a Mac OS user, you've got your iPhone. These things are very compatible. When you finish your mixes, you can always airdrop stuff to your iPhone and listen to it, see what it sounds like on your AirPods. You can even connect your AirPods to your MacBook Pro and it's seamless and you listen to stuff. So the way Mac OS and iOS integrate is amazing it's fantastic i can't even explain it to you if you've got an iphone and a windows computer trust me you're suffering it's not like you can't do it it's doable totally doable but mac os and ios work a lot better together and as a mix engineer one of the most important things to us is reliability you don't want a thing where you wake up in the morning you load up your projects and nothing's working or maybe your session had crashed because there was a driver problem or someone turn off the mains and your audio interface went off and your computer now has a blue screen of death restarts and it's not working anymore there's too many driver issues on windows but for some reason things just work on mac if you plug something into a mac um, device it just works it's class compliant it just works i don't know how it's done i can't explain to you the technical part of it but with mac os you will have little to no driver uh, problems there's some hardware that you buy that need drivers for Mac, but rarely you do come across those. For the most part, most of the things that you just have will be plug and play on Mac. I can't say the same for Windows. Windows, you need to find the drivers and install them. If it's the wrong one, crash, oh my God, it's not reliable. And also the battery life on Mac OS tend to be better. If you buy a new Mac, they advertise at least 10 hours of battery life. It might not be 10 realistically speaking if you're mixing on it, but might be three, might be four, might be five. And compared to what a windows of the same price range would offer you it might be better than the windows in my opinion when i was using windows i never had a laptop that gave me so much power as my macbooks that i've had in the past eight years or so since i moved to mac mac os tend to be more efficient with battery usage as compared to windows reasons being this more things in um, Windows run in the background than macOS. macOS is kind of light, it's easier, it's less bloatware. And if you're creative, not just music producers, not just mix engineers, if you make art, you make you edit pictures and you edit videos, you'll agree with me, Mac OS displays, MacBook displays, iMacs, whatever, Apple computers, the displays are one of the most color accurate ones you'll find on the market. The way MacBook Pro's displays look, it's high resolution. The Retina display just makes everything just look good. And because the resolutions are high, if you're a mix engineer, you will see more mix, um, more mixer knobs on your screen or mixer sliders. 
these vary. Obviously, there's really, really good Windows laptops. There's really high spec computers. But to get a really good Windows laptop, for instance, you spend a lot more. But for that same amount of money, you would get something maybe considered entry level in the world of Macs that would give you maybe better specifications or not specifications now that's wrong but maybe better like screen quality battery life and stuff it is true that with the same amount of money you get higher specs on windows compared to mac but that is beginning to change now with the advent of the m1 chips the m2 the m3s the entry level m1 is faster than anything a windows computer can output in 2024 trust me macbooks as well are very durable if you've seen macbooks they're built like tanks it's aluminium body unibody it's not like stuff you would break apart easily so if you own a macbook and you take care of things rest assured you can own that macbook for 10 years and nothing will happen to it besides maybe the battery will go bad and you have to replace the battery but when it comes to the keyboard the hinge of the screen all of these things especially computers that like macbooks that came after 2016 from 2017 upwards, Apple did fix the FlexGate issue. So I've had a few MacBooks and I, I always sold them looking clean. It wasn't a time where I had to go fix my MacBook. The durability on Mac is crazy. I can't say the same for Windows. And also, if you own a MacBook and you plan to resell it, the resale value of your MacBook Pros will be far higher than Windows. The moment you buy a Windows machine, it kind of loses value immediately when you see when you go on places like eBay, Facebook Market, and you see used HPs, used Asus, and all of these things. If it's a Windows computer and it's used, the price might be half of what it's supposed to be worth. But with uh, MacBooks, if you're on macOS and you're a creator, you're a mix engineer, you've used it for for a while, and now you need an upgrade, you can still get a reasonable amount of money back for your mac computers in most cases you might be able to get the same amount of money that you spend on it back i've done it multiple times and i got the same amount of money back because i take really good care of my computers and i clean them by the time i'm reselling i take really good pictures of them so it it looks high value in the marketplace the last thing but definitely not the least of the reasons why i moved from windows to mac was peer pressure I don't know if you've experienced this, but there's times you walk into a room, you walk into a session or a studio and you pull out your computer and it's a MacBook. People just automatically think that you know what you're doing. People just think that you are the professional. Even though the Windows user is more experienced or more skilled than you are, they just think if you've got a Mac, you really, really, really mean business. You're sure of what you're doing. You know what you're doing. They probably should work with you more. There was times I used to go to sessions, I was skilled, I was a decent engineer, I was a good engineer, but because I had Windows, people, people would second guess me, be like, yo, what do you mix on that? Do you mix on that? You know, because I had a HP and the HP wasn't looking good. It was all scratched up. I've, I have had that computer for years at the time. So when I would walk into sessions with my, uh, my Windows, I can tell you that the way that I am being seen now or ever since I started using Mac OS, it's like, oh yeah, he's a professional. That's why he uses Mac, you know? So yeah, peer pressure came into play. At first it wasn't about the specs because me, I'm a power user. I care more about specs than marketing gimmicks. But with this one, if you want to look pro, get yourself a MacBook Pro. Nobody really knows what the spec is. When they see the Apple logo at the back, they just think that's it another person might have a more powerful windows machine but you will still be giving more respect but anyways i hope you found some form of value from this video if you liked it please like it leave a comment below tell me the things that you disagree tell me the things that you agree on ask me questions and kindly subscribe to the channel because i make videos like this all the time i'm a mix and matching engineer i am eight notes if you didn't know i'll see you again on the next video goodbye